can't wait, seriously. Hey, you gotta pee and then you gotta go right now. Jaxie's back in the gym. He's back. It's been a while. <laughs> yeah, it really actually been a while. Uh, what's up? Welcome to the new vlog. Today we're shooting the new uh, bikinis slash bathing suits that we got in. <laughs> and uh, we're in about half an hour a model is coming because of course I'm not able to model it myself right now. Uh, let me just show you. I guess. Just a little bit and I'll be able to wear these. I can't wait, seriously. It's so exciting to see new things, but it's so less, much less exciting when you can't <laughs> try them on. There you go. Oh, they look beautiful. So this is one of the bathing suits. I really wanted to make a bathing suit for the people that don't always want to show their stomach but still kind of look sexy but also not too cut out because I don't like when it's it, it gets slutty real quick if you cut it like the sides or go like a really deep a deep V. Also if you have a kid and you want to like be able to bend over and move it should stay in its place. You can't just be putting your boobs back in the entire time. It's like a bore up bathing suit. Exactly. <laughs> I don't want to. So we have this one and then wow. And then I really love that shape, so I made another color in the exact same. And that's this one. It has kind of like gold. That's super cool. And they all have the silicon logo on the back. Jax is trying to communicate with the neighbors. <laughs> then we have one for the avid swimmer, so it really stays up because it has the bands. And it just has a nice open back. And they're all cut up pretty high. So it's like a tanga, it's not like a thong, and it's also not like a normal bathing suit. Jax is going a little bananas here. And then we have one bikini, that's this one. Also again, high cut out also just right under the belly button that's it cool probably about in about a month <laughs> when it's still summer I can fit these <laughs> I am 39 weeks and five, five days right now. So only two more days till my due date. And oh God, I hope he comes soon because life just got even more uncomfortable right now. So the belly is absolutely massive and it's hanging really low. If I need to pee, like I almost can't even run to the toilet to pee because it's like, hey, you gotta pee and then you gotta go right now. And then it's even painful to walk because there's just so little space. But yeah, I just feel like, let's say guilty. I feel guilty towards Jax that I can't really do anything with him anymore. Uh, I just play in the house with him, uh, like trying to make it as entertaining as possible, but it's very different from going outside uh letting him run letting uh, you know going to the beach and stuff but i just i just can't do it anymore literally the last couple of days i haven't been able to walk more than five steps without <laughs> kind of like moaning <laughs> from pain <laughs> um so cos is right now to the beach with him i think it's the last day here with kind of good weather so i'm actually really happy that he uh he took him with some friends uh, I wanted to show you a package that I received um, with little baby clothes that I chose for little baby fox. I can finally say his name. It feels so weird. And also, for everybody that has an Apple Watch and would like some really nice vintage bands from um, legit authentic 
like Gucci bags and stuff, really go check them out. So they're called Sparkle. They're in America, but they are amazing. They make sure that they take authentic bags. So never, <laughs> you'll never receive bands that are made from a fake bag. And I just like it so much more because it's not like super sporty now. It's actually like a nice accessory. But yeah, let me show you what I got for Baby Fox. So <laughs> I couldn't help myself. I got this little like a uh, play suit. I don't know what it's called. Everything has such different names in English and Dutch. But this one I fell in love with immediately with the little elephants. I don't know what I have with elephants. I just absolutely love the animal. I have some elephants as uh, like stuffed animals as well in this room. So, and then just a really simple one that you can put on when he's laying on his back, which is always nice with this cute little pet. And one more with his name. <laughs> Look how freaking adorable. And these ones like for real, isn't this the cutest thing ever? <laughs> So yeah, all by this brand, by the way. I really like, she chooses really nice, like very refined patterns. And that's what I really like. I don't like that super yelling type of clothing. I really like the refined, soft patterns. And she has the cutest things for girls. Seriously, if you have a girl, or if you know somebody that's gonna give birth to a girl, <laughs> check her out. She has the cutest prints. There is so little that I can do. So I'm trying to work as much as possible, like on my laptop and on my phone. But I even noticed that that is really difficult because it's just really difficult to focus and keep reminding myself of things. Even like I put reminders in my phone and I will literally forget to look at the reminders. Like it's, it's terrible. Like everything is just in some kind of like muted stage till or muted state till your baby is born. You're kind of just like in the waiting seat. I don't know how all you mommies do it. If you have multiple kids walking around because even one is just a lot. I'm so happy that Gus just took him because if he doesn't, Jax is a handful. Like, and then having to running, run around after him and also just keeping him entertained is really difficult when you're not that mobile anymore. <laughs> I'm at the beach today with uh, Jax and two friends who also have kids. So they're playing out here. It's not super nice weather, but it's kind of warm, no sun, but uh, still great for him to, um, you know, be active. Congratulations, you're 40 weeks pregnant. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Today's mommy's due day. And where is the baby? <coughs> Still in the belly. <coughs> Honestly, did you expect me to go to oh, my due date? Oh. No, uh, I had the 15. Yeah. <laughs> Clearly and you did. It's didn't. the 26th, uh, 26th now. But at the same time, as soon as it was like one day past, the date yeah. that you predicted, you said, okay, now he's coming after the due date. Yeah. That's what you did say. Like, if it's not before, then it's way after. Well, here we are. Still no sign that he's planning on coming soon. Drinking bitter lemon. Uh, drinking bitter lemon. Not, not necessarily because it has quinina in it. I actually really, really like it. I like everything right now that is super sour and bitter. So that's perfect. I just know that before this, before you hit like, I think like a 38 weeks, you should, you're not supposed to drink anything more than one glass max of it. So now I can go nuts drinking two glasses a day. <laughs> <laughs> we tried every trick in the book, but yeah. 
Nothing helps. Nothing. Really so uh, tomorrow nothing. we have another appointment at the midwife, I think. No, Thursday. Oh, Thursday. But I was actually thinking about calling in and see um, if they might want to check if I have one centimeter di uh, dilation. Yeah. And if I do, that they strip me. That's what it's called here. Yeah. This is actually funny. I never thought this appointment would stick because I was hoping to deliver <laughs> before this appointment was set. I even right. made the appointment and said, well, I'm not sure if it's going to go through. It, I might just give birth right before whatever, but I'll let you know on the day of the appointment if it, you know, if, if everything goes well, you can come. And then <sighs> there she is. <laughs> so is this a special kind of uh, massage to Stimulate, <laughs> to uh, stimulate the labor? No, I oh. actually don't know if, she, if she's familiar with the points in the feet that you can stimulate to activate labor, but... Yeah, I try. Yeah? Yeah, of course. Oh, well, let's do it! <laughs> <laughs> let's do it! <laughs> I, I, I didn't even think about asking. That's so weird, because I ask you every night to... Yeah. ...to uh, go hams on my feet. <laughs> in hopes that it will stimulate it but until now nothing happened so far okay but it's funny how you make appointments and every time you tell the person like hey i don't know if the appointment can go through and every time you think probably not and then mm -hmm. the day rolls by and it's all fine because we're still not in labor <laughs> of the vlog already oh well thank you guys for watching i'd love to lock it up here <laughs> to end here uh please leave thumbs up um again next will be the bird vlog pray for me <laughs> see you next time